Hey everybody, you're watching Grab a Gear. I'm Jared. I'm Dan. And today, we're gonna go into the tool shed. That didn't work. I'm, I'm ashamed. Welcome inside the tool shed, guys. Now, here on Grab a Gear, we are always looking for things that would help you out. And the big thing that we noticed is everybody does tool reviews, but they do reviews on things that the normal consumer doesn't actually need. Am I right? Yeah, they go, they go through with a, a lot higher budget than, hey, I need that tool, let me go run and grab one real quick. So that's why we decided we're gonna do the tool shed. The tool shed is the everyday person's tools. So what we did, this is just an example. We went and we bought tools from three stores, Harbor Freight, Walmart, and AutoZone. We're going to review every tool that they pretty much have. And we'll let you know which one is the best one for that budget. And let's be honest, it's a pretty low budget. Like, something that's cheap. I yeah, mean, it's pretty cheap. crazy cheap. So. Let's see what happens. Let's kick this episode off. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing something pretty cool. Hey guys, I'm Jared. I'm Dan, and you're watching The Tool Shed. Yep, and today, we are going to be doing one that a lot of people have asked us to do, which is safety glasses. Budget. Yeah, safety glasses. budget. Let's make sure we point that out. Let's go over the budget real quick. A dollar, 99 cents. Harbor Freight, one dollar. Not even 99, actually not even a dollar, 99 right. cents. Walmart, these come in a three pack, breaks down to $2.08 a piece. AutoZone, Mechanics Wear, $8.99 for this bad boy. So, we'll be putting them through a series of tests. Uh, let's see, we're gonna be doing the chemical test with brake cleaner, the sparks and grinding test to see if they can withstand that. And then we're also going to be doing a scratch resistance yep. test for if you're, hey, you knock them off the shelf, they're rattling around in your bag. Exactly. Was there any other ones? And how they're going to finish, which you're going to see here. One yep. Moment. There we go. Cool. Well, let's get right to it. All right. So here we are with the Harbor Freight ones. I am going to point out real quick that they are, every single one of them is ANSI certified. Every one of them. Um, different levels, but they all meet that standard. They're all at least uh, Z87 certified. These oh. are the Harbor Freight pair. And um, not bad fit and finish for a dollar. For so. a dollar? Yeah. It's actually pretty good. Walmart, see if we get double the comfort for double the price. Right. I would say yes. This one feels like it costs $2 compared to the $1 pair we just had on. You need a knife to open up. Yeah, you need to put some safety glasses on, sir. Ow! <laughs> There we go. This is Walmart? Yes. Oh, wow. These are way more comfortable, actually. They fit better. Wow. Okay. These are fancy. Yeah, they have the nice uh, rubber nose pads. Definitely feels like you have a better seal around your yeah. eyes with these ones. Especially up on top. Yeah. Not nearly as big of a gap. But it's also uh, four times the price. So. Yeah, then that's a big question. Actually, eight times the price, four times the price. So then, oh, not bad. All fit and yeah. finished. They all fit around your face. They all have pretty good wraparound protection. So yeah. onto the test. And there's no definitive winner on that. No. Okay. Cool. So let's get on to the test. All right, guys. Well, as you just saw, we did the grinding test. And after looking at them, a little bit of dirt and dust on them from the grinding, some metal shavings, but no real scratches in the lenses, which is what you really want. It wants to not go through or anything. 
yeah, I mean, even the cheapest ones look still good. They're dirty, you know, dusty, but yeah, that's literally that's it. it. It's just a little bit of dirt and debris, but yeah, no chips, no scratches, no penetrations on them. So that's a pass for all of them. Yeah, good to go. Let's move on to the next one. A lot of times, whenever you're getting ready to do like some grinding, you need safety glasses. So, Dan, could I have some safety glasses? Heads up. Ah, oh, man. Thank you. Here's some more for you, Dan. And here's another pair. Oh, no, I dropped these, Dan. Can you throw me another pair of safety glasses? You missed. Oh, here. Get your other one. <laughs> So obviously that's an, a gross graduate exaggerate. Wow. wow. <laughs> Exaggeration. Exaggeration of what's going on, but they do get left on the shelf and you'll knock them off your workbench or you throw them in your bag because, Hey, you want to have them with you and they'll just rattle them around. And exactly. Stuff, so, cause let's be honest. These aren't snap on $300 ones. You know, you're not, you're not going to care about them as yeah. much. I and get that. They're definitely Harbor Freight ones still looks usable. To me, the Walmart ones are still usable. Absolutely. I mean, sure, they have dings and scuffs on them, but it's not like it's crazy where you just can't even see out of them anymore. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, I mean, they all just have little scratches. You could still use them. And I hate to say it. I'm still leaning. I'm leaning towards the Harbor Freight. Yeah, as they, all, they all did really well for us just kind of mowing yeah. around. So, yeah, we'll uh, do some chemical testing on and see how they repair. Sounds good. Let's do it. Just so you guys know, we are using SuperTech Freight Parts Cleaner, just so you guys know what we're actually testing it with. All right, guys, as you saw, we did a nice little chemical test. Very disappointed, actually, in one of the results. As we removed it after we stopped filming, the uh, AutoZone Mechanic Works completely fell apart. So we'll get to that in a moment. Um, while it's slightly fresh still, I'm going to just run this pick across it. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, all the all of it is pretty hard, actually. There's no like immediate softness that I saw with the pick. What do you think? Can you wear those or no? In a pinch, yeah, but uh, they just have a lot of fogging after the chemical test on them. Oh wow, yeah. But they're still in one piece. Yeah, absolutely. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to look at him. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. I just uh, these definitely looked good until somebody broke them. I did. <laughs> wow, it's yeah. It, it just it, melted right out yeah, of it it just off the side. Melts it. Wow. You know, with some duct tape, you'd be fine. Everybody has electrical tape in the shop, so. right? But, well, you know. <sighs> The bad part is, oh, wow, I was really leaning towards the Walmart ones because they look the best right now until Dan got a hold of them. <laughs> now they don't, which leaves us with one conclusion. <laughs> for a dollar. For one dollar, guys. The best safety glasses. On the budget side. On the budget side <laughs> is from Harbor Freight. One dollar, baby. Yeah. And that's. Nearly because they're still in one piece. <laughs> so there you guys go. That's our uh, video on safety glasses. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, go out, pick up as many as you need from Harbor Freight because they are top notch. <laughs> All right, guys. Until the next video, we'll talk to you soon. That's terrible. <laughs>